How's it going everyone? This is Abe's Card Collection back with another Mail Day Monday. I feel like it's been a while since we did a Mail Day Monday. Haven't been buying too much off of the good old eBay lately, but had a package come in. Thought it'd be fun to, to share what I got with everyone. So without further ado, let's get into it. There's of course going to be some TTM fuel in here, as well as a couple set building cards I believe. Lots of card savers. Get through this tape here. Always appreciate the extra cardboard protection people are shipping via eBay. Always worried though I'm gonna accidentally cut through something here. All right. Where do we go, where do we go? Let's go to the front, I guess. Ooh, look at that. Get that cardboard out of here. How about a 1973 Jim Palmer? He takes $10 donations to sign through the mail. Maybe I'll find a nice little Island and Ginter Gypsy Queen or something else to send along with this. Make it an even $20 donation. How about that one? 1951 or 52 Bowman for Eddie Robinson. Oldest living former major leaguer, Chicago White Sox. How about that? I want to say this is a 52 Bowman. I don't think it's going to stay on here. Who knows? Yeah, 1952 already. Let's feature that one. He takes $10 donations, lives down there in Texas. This is the one, though, that kicked off the whole purchase this, this go around. Bobby Shantz, 1952 Topps card. He was, of course, the AL MVP in 1952. I think he had like 24 wins that year. And I just really want to get this card signed. He takes $5 donations per signature that goes to the Salvation Army, I want to say. So a great cause, and it would be fantastic to get him to sign this card. Don't have too many 52 tops. That might be one of my, one of two or so. I might only have just that one. Who's this guy? It's covered up. I think this is Bob Oldest, though. He was part of the World Series Pirates team in 1960. It is Bob Oldest. So... Send this one off to him, TTM. Love to get those 1960 uh, Pirates World Series winners. How about a second Eddie Robinson? This one's a 1957 Tops. Maybe I should take these out of these card savers. Nah, I'll keep them in there, keep them protected. Looks like they're running low on supplies, that's okay. You guys get the gist. This will go with the other Eddie Robinson. Figure it's better to send two than it is to send one. Let's put that one, eh, you know what, let's feature both of them. Man is 100, by the way, so. How about Bill Verdon? A lot of people get him back. Coach for the Astros, of course, was center fielder for the Pirates of that 1960 Buckos World Series team. Kind of cool to add this one. I don't know if I'm going to send this one TTM or if it's going to jump into my 1965 top set. I don't think I have him in there yet. Here's another Bob Oldest. This one's 1961. Like I said, it's better to send two than to send one. This one has blue painter's tape on it. It's Fern Law. Looks like they cut through the... Oh, it's interesting. Didn't cut through the painter's tape. That's weird. But again, supplies are in sh shorts. There is a short amount of supplies out there is what I'm trying to say. But how about this 1966 Fern Law? He, of course, signs, takes that $8 donation. Worth it every time. Does a lot of inscriptions. I'm actually... I think I'm committing to trying to get that player era... Um, set of his, getting all the cards signed from his player era. So, 1966 I did not have. This one is a 1970 Harmon Killebrew. I think this one was only like $15, looked to be in great shape. Thought it was worth picking up for my 1970 set. Really like the gray borders on the 1970 set. Really don't have too many uh, of the cards for the sets just yet, but just getting that set kicked off and good to start with a Hall of Famer, right? How about Cleon Jones with the Rookie Cup there for this 1967 Topps card? I was trying to win a rookie card. I think he signs for a $10 donation. Um, couldn't get the rookie, but I did pick this one up super cheap. Nice Cleon Jones, part of those amazing Mets teams. Really like these Rookie Cups. Really like the 67 design too. It's a really clean design. Speaking of 67, 
about Dick Grote? Who knew he played for the Phillies? I always remember him as a pirate, and uh, then shortly after that, the Cardinals. Phillies were really late in his career, 1967 tops. I don't actually know if he played for them, per se, or if he was just there for spring training early in the season. Um, Got to check my history on that one. But great TTMer. Might send this one off to him. Might add it to the 67 set. Still undecided. How about this one? It is totally beat up. It is totally awesome. A 1953 Dick Crote. This may be his rookie. I want to say in 52 he was still at Duke playing baseball and basketball. Or maybe he was in the NBA or the precursor to the NBA. He was playing basketball too back in the 1953 I want to say though. So long story short, this might be his rookie card. I'm not 100% sure though. But it has got creases all up in here and here. Soft corners. Who cares? Look at how cool that is. So... Again, I don't know. This might go TTM as well. 53 top set would be really hard to put together because that Mickey Mantle card is really expensive. Not as expensive as the 52, of course, but we'll see what happens with this card. Really love adding these 53 tops cards. Doesn't matter the condition. You can see all these wrinkles on the back. Who cares? It's still it's still here. And it still is, you know, it still looks like a complete card. No, like, real fillers or marks or anything on it. Just some creases. Had a little bit of luck in its life. So we'll put that there and feature that. It's just a really cool-looking card. And I saw this one on the back, so I'm going to skip it up front. How about Dave Robinson? What is this? I think this is a 72 tops. It is a 72 tops. And then a 1970 tops. Now, my understanding is, is he takes $10 donations. He will even accept a $5 donation, but he'll personalize the card. So if you're not looking for the personalization or if you think that adds too much, you know, ink to the card, he does take $10 donations. Again, two is better than one. So for some reason, his cards were really expensive up until just recently. I've been trying to win one and they were in that like $15 to $20 range. And I really like to just pick cards up for that 4 or $5 range. So really happy to add these two to the collection. I've been trying to get Dave Robinson cards for a while. Of course, he is a NFL Hall of Famer. How about the original Frank Thomas? Didn't know anything about him. Didn't know uh, at all. And I started seeing people getting him back for TTM. And the original Frank Thomas, as he's referred to, had a pretty good career. So I figured I should pick up a 57 Tops with those Pirates and uh, send it off to him. Be great to add to the collection. I know he takes a fee for TTM, a donation. I can't remember if it's 5 or 10 but I'll give it a look before I send it off and make sure I include the right amount for the donation. Really happy to add this card, though. Last but not least, this is a 1978, 79, okay, 1979, Charlie Joyner card. He's also a great TTMer. I've gotten him once before on a 72 rookie card. Um... And just thought it'd be nice to pick up another card and maybe send it TTM, maybe not. It's really, really a clean card, nicely centered on the front. A little bit of, you know, marking here and a little off center on the back, but who cares? It really, who looks at the back of the cards that much? I guess graders, but I don't think I would send this card in for grading. It'd just be cool to add a Charlie Joyner um, card to the collection. Well, guys, that's it. Somehow that took almost nine minutes. Really do want to show this 1952 Bobby Chance. I have been looking for this card for forever, it seems. And they always seem to go for a little too much. Maybe not a little too much. A little more than I want to pay. And this time I finally got one. So super pumped about it. Hopefully I can send this off soon to him and get it back with some ink on it. But thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you all had a fan or you all have a fantastic Monday. As I usually put these these videos out early in the morning. And I hope you all have a great week. And finally, I hope to see you tomorrow for Through the Mail Tuesday. Got a bunch of returns this week. Either tying a record or setting a record off to double check, but we will confirm that tomorrow. And I'll see you then. Bye.